Hey everyone, this is Mark from Red Arrow Industries, here for another quick to the point tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how you can easily save custom quick transitions in Avid Media Composer. In my timeline, I've just laid down a few random edits. Let's start by making a fun custom transition between these first two shots. You'll want to open up the quick transition window, which by default is the backslash button on your keyboard. Let's go down to dip to color. Set how long you want the transition to be, and then select add. So right now, it created a simple dip to black between these two shots. But let's say you wanted to change the dip to a different color other than black. To do that, open up the effect editor window on your transition, toggle down on the background color, and then change the hue, saturation, and luminance until you get the color you're wanting. I'm going to go with a nice blue. Beautiful. Now that I have this custom transition made, a cool way to save this for easy use in the future is to create a new bin and call it Quick Transitions. Make sure it's spelled correctly, because if not, this trick won't work. Next, place your custom transition into this new bin, and let's rename ours to Dip to Blue. Now if I wanted to use this transition again, just go to put a transition between your two shots like you normally would, but then when you toggle down on Add, you can see that the Dip to Blue transition was saved down here on the bottom. Let's try another one really quick. If you go to Filters, under Box Wipe, Conceal, and Edge Wipe, there are tons of more fun transitions you can choose from. But let's go full out Star Wars here and do a vertical wipe. Nice. But let's say you also wanted to add a border to this. Go to the Effect Editor, toggle down on Border, and let's see if we can just make a simple black border here. Perfect. Now drag and drop it into the Quick Transitions bin, and let's rename this one to Vertical Black Border. Again, if I go to put another transition on, I can see that this one is also saved and is now much easier to use not only in this edit, but in all the edits I make in this project. You can add as many transitions as you need, and it's nice to have them organized all in one place. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions about saving your custom quick transitions, comment below. And if you're looking for any more of our tutorials, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And then also check us out on our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or at our website at redarrowindustries.com.